Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. It is Tuesday, May 17th, and I finished putting the vlog together. It's 10 to 10. Wow, time slipped away real quick. Uh, so I, I got it. I think I put it completely together before 9, and then it's been compressing for a while, and uh, then I've been started, started working on the cook and review, and I heard trucks this morning, and I wasn't sure... I think the street cleaners are coming and they're going to clean up all the uh, dirt and, and leftover salt and things that they put down during the winter time. So that's being done. Uh, I'm going to do another live show today and uh, I don't know, I'm not sure what we're going to eat. I haven't thought that far ahead. I stepped on a chunk of dog food that Sam left for me. See, our fridge is full of stuff. I just don't know what I'm going to eat, but I'll figure it out. Oh, I think we have leftover um, shepherd's pie. Louie, did you want to say hello? Did you want to say hello, Lulu? Hmm? Do you like saying hello, Louie? What? What? You want to go for the food while I'm... Hey. Hey. Ew. Under the cat and over the cat. He's so handsome. Prince Louis. Prince Louis. Do you guys remember what we, what Ninja's real name was when we first got him? Do you remember that? His real name was Marco. And then we had a discussion. Megan wanted to change his name. And uh, so she changed it. It's funny because she rhymed out a whole bunch of words and when it was just Carol, Megan and I making the, the decision and we all wanted to be somewhat a part of it. And uh, she came up with Prince and I thought, you know, he looks like a prince and we all kind of liked that name. But she also had said Ninja in that slur of many names that she came up with and uh, but I didn't hear it. Uh, and then it was the next day or two after we named him Prince, that he was running around like a ninja and doing weird things. And I'm like, oh, a ninja would have been a good name. She's like, I sent that. And I'm like, well, let's use it because that's that's what he is. He's a little black ninja. And uh, he's Sonny's sleeping right now. Little ball of fur. And ninja's sleeping. Another ball of fur. And Sam is over there. Another ball of fur. Uh, it's almost finished compressing. As soon as it's done that, I'll upload it and then share it across my social medias. You guys can watch that. Uh, what else do I have to do today? If I get that done and then Wednesday morning, I try to get Friday's video done. Um, I don't even know if I have, oh, uh, I, I need to go to, um, what's it called? Tim Hortons and do that maple thing for my Thirsty Thursdays. Make it nice and easy, I'll use this camera. Thirsty Thursdays is always one camera shoot. I like Thirsty Thursdays to be straight up and easy. Takes a load off my mind. There goes our street cleaner. It's cleaning up our roads. It'd be interesting to know if some of you guys in some of the different countries around the world, whether you guys have street cleaners or not. But there are some places that don't need them. But we do. They dump so much dirt and sand on our road during the winter. Uh, they usually go around twice. Hey, buddy. Why are you so cute? Stop being cute. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Why? Look at you. Uh-oh, he's reaching for the sword. Reaching for the sword. What do you think of the noisy street cleaner? Aw, oh, you love him. <laughs> Back to work. Taking Sam for a walk in the street cleaner. He's gone by. They've gone by three times on our side now. Does a pretty good job. Then I think they also have like a water truck 
that's gonna go around and like scoot off the rest of the powder, dirt, dust. So I pretty much finished uh, the cook and review video. It's all done. I just gotta watch it one more time. Uh, just get an idea. It's under 28 minutes, I think, which is good. 25 to 30 minutes is good for a cooking show. But uh, that's gonna walk Sam, then go back home, do a live show. Just come by to see if there's any bass nesting, and they are. Uh, you can, might be able to see a couple fish down there. There's sunfish, some people call them um, sunflower fish, I think. But there is bass, they like, like I said, they like to sit just underneath that canopy. And uh, there's one big one under there, but like he doesn't want to come out. When I first got here, he took off. There's one over here. So just under that stuff that's floating, you might be able to see the bass, possibly, no promises. Um, some people call, there's another, there's something that looks like a sunfish and it's also called a bluegill. And the bluegill has a very large round bluish black dot on its side. Um, and the sunfish doesn't have that as pronounced. So it's a bluegill, sunfish, those are uh, bass, smallmouth, and uh, we also have a lot of perch in that lake. I haven't heard anybody catching largemouth in that lake, but there probably are. Yeah, there's your fishing lesson for the day. Okay, so it is uh, almost two o'clock. Uh, I just finished doing a two hour live, uh, live stream on you now. Didn't tell anybody uh, on, on any, uh, any of my other social media except Instagram and Facebook and the, it started off being really bad. It took like five minutes before three people came on. So I had three people, one person for about the first maybe two and a half minutes. I'm like, I used to get like at least 20, 25 people in the first couple minutes, but it was like nobody was available. Everybody was, I'm like, oh, this was a bad idea. And um, and then maybe 10 minutes after that, as I was getting ready to send out um, an Instagram message, heads up, hey guys, advertisement, whatever, uh, just as that happened, I got like up to about 40. And then we got up to around 60, I think, for the like first hour. And then I was like trending number two. And then the guy ahead of me left, finished his show. And again, this is one of the things I love about you now is if you're right behind the number one guy and then they leave, all those people dump onto your channel. So I had like 600 people watching live for a couple minutes. And when you see that happen, you got to pay attention all the time. When you see that happen, you have to like quickly say, hey guys, it's, I just give you a heads up. I just noticed that a lot of people just came on. My name's Ken Domic. I'm a YouTuber. I eat food for a living. This is what I do for my job. Hang out for a bit. Hang out with with us for a bit we just finished eating some lunch and some dessert and I, I managed to keep about 200 of them for about a half an hour and then the last half hour I had about a hundred people for the whole time 104 which is really really cool I'm extremely excited and uh, I just kept saying hey if you guys want me to go as we were coming up to the one hour mark as I was coming up to the one hour mark I'd say hey guys if you want me to go for another 15 minutes you know, just give me another 500 likes just to show me that you want me to do that. And of course, people pounded other likes. I got it in like two seconds. I'm like, oh, I should have asked for a thousand. And uh, anyways, I had a lot of fun. Everybody on there had a lot of fun. And we also said, hey, if you're interested in, I wouldn't mind doing a nighttime uh, live stream too today. Let's see if I can get Ben on. Uh, so Ben and I, I was trying out different uh methods of doing this. So I have a lunch thing, you know, maybe once a week, Ben and I'll do a nighttime thing and see how that goes. I might get, try to get Ben onto his own you now. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna walk Sam again. As you can tell, I'm really, really excited because it was a lot of fun. <sighs> Big breath, okay. Uh, I'm gonna take Sam for a quick walk. And then when we come, when I come back, I am going to take uh, or go, take the car to go and drop off that hood range to the dump because it was closed yesterday. Drop that off, uh, then pick up uh, like about 12 bags of, of um, what's it called? 
mulch, uh, bring that back here, unload it, and then go for a bike ride. And then when when Steve, when Ben comes home, oh my gosh, uh, he can help me to smear that all over the gardens and uh, get that done and out of the way. Anyway, so let's get Sam done. Come on, Sam. Well, it is 2.30, I'm at the dump, and there is a lineup. I was really hoping that wasn't gonna be a lineup. And the dump today really, really stinks. I'm not sure why. Probably because of the dump. I'm predicting 30 minutes. Let's see if I'm right. We are now at 2.40, so uh, that's 10 minutes, and we've only made it this far. And that smell that I'm getting is just like all this wood has been freshly cut. That freshly chainsawed wood smell. We are at 2.45 and uh, because I'm using the Honda today, Carol took all the things out that she thought I'd need today and, and threw them in this car, like my uh, steering wheel tray, my charger, and the letter from Rob with the anti-slip pad, which I thought, hey, let's just give it a quick shot. So I threw it there. Uh, the only problem with it, Rob, is it sticks to the camera at this point in time. It, it, I'll put it, I really gotta stop saying that, but it's true, at this point in time, it sticks to the camera. So if it's stuck to the dashboard better, so let's put it down, and look, like when I put it down, it is stuck. It is not moving, I'm like trying to move it, trying to move it, trying to move it. It's just at, it's at the wrong angle, but uh, but now it's stuck to the camera, like totally stuck to the camera. So let's try let's try putting it there. And uh, if I put it there, that's all right. It's the <coughs> framing's all bad. Putting somebody's head in the center of a video frame is is so wrong. The proper the proper spot <laughs> sticks to your fingers too. Like that's good framing. Yeah. It's like a, by the time I get out of here, I don't know, it's gonna be more than 30 minutes, I think. Cause there's just as big a line coming out as there is going in. Cause people got, got weighed. You can, you can sometimes Bonus, the fact that you can get in, drop your stuff and get out before some of these other people, uh, which sometimes can help, but uh, it doesn't look like anybody's coming out yet. So all these people are trying to get in and uh, that's the out spot over there and nobody's in that lineup. So that's really weird. Don't know why it's taking so long for us to get in then. So it's 2.55, I'm next in line. I'm just waiting for the green light to go so I can get onto the scale. Like I said, it's 2.55, so it took around 25 minutes to get here, it'll only take me like a second and a half to unload the hood range and the barbecue. I forgot to show you. That I had, this is the hood range from the kitchen, that's the barbecue. Uh, both of them are done. So that's where we're at the dump. Let's see if it costs us money. It shouldn't cost any money, I'm not sure. I'm waiting. I have money just in case, but I'm thinking that because it's metal, they take metal for free. So I'm hoping that it's a free drop, that'd be great. Hi there. How are you? I'm good yourself. All right. What township? Uh, I guess Innisville. And now what do you have today? Uh, I just have a, a metal hood range and a metal uh, barbecue. All right, just the two things today? Yeah. No garbage. All right. Let's go over to the scrap metal pile and you're free to go in there. Thank you. That's all it takes, so it's free. Yay! That, you know what? When townships do that kind of stuff, it really helps cut down on people dumping stuff because people don't want to pay to get rid of their garbage so they're just willing to throw it off the into the ditch which really sucks so concrete metal and stuff they want and they can make money off this metal stuff so and these guys don't know how to park one guy's a trailer so I understand but this doofus with the Never mind. Now the coolest thing about metal dropping stuff off like that, or dropping anything off of the dump, is throwing it. I love throwing the crap. That's the best. So I don't have to weigh coming out because it was free. So I get to slip by everything, everybody else. So like I said, dudes and dudettes, it is three o'clock. 
So that is exactly 30 minutes, yeah, pretty much. And so now I have to go to get the mulch. And uh, I'm hoping it's not expensive mulch. But I like the dark brown, that's my favorite. I don't. I tried red one year and it's red mulch. Eww. Somebody dropped a can, but I'll pick it up. I'll be a nice guy. So we're at Bradford Greenhouses. I'm gonna buy about 12 bags of mulch. And I remember buying eight last year and it not being enough, so I'm gonna buy four extra. Let's see how that goes. That'd be so cool. So here are our choices. I prefer the uh, Cedar Mulch Brown. Three for 15 bucks. So let's do it. All right, so I got 12 bags. It came to $67. There's three bags for 15 bucks. That can be good or bad, just depending on how large the bag is. So we're gonna get down there and uh, grab our stuff. All loaded up. Got the 12 bags. Bad timing, people are coming north out of Bradford. Brutal. I can only hope. <laughs> Man, what a drag that is. They need like one of those extra lanes here just so I can get up to speed. Hmm. Wish me luck. As you can see, we are home. And uh, put all the bags at the front as I was backing up. Made a couple piles. So there's our piles. I probably won't have to put a whole lot of mulch on the front first one. Probably like maybe three bags will do that. This is gonna take a lot. This will probably take all of them. And then I've gotta go down that way. I might wanna start down there and come this way. But uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So that's what it looks like now. Let's do this one. This one, this bag broke open, so I just kind of threw it there. So I just need to spread that around. And the best thing about mulch, just in case you don't know, uh, it creates this kind of layer of not really a whole lot of ground, so that when you're pulling a weed, it comes out just like that, because it has nothing to grab onto, and it needs to get up high. Same with grass. I like this, throw it onto the lawn. This is like a crab grassy type grass and I don't like it in my garden, of course. Who would? So here's a nice hosta coming up where there's grass growing in it. But because we put down a lot of mulch last year, um, another thing cool, cool thing is I was, uh, so I kind of only need to do this. I could probably use one of those little hand rakes just go like this all over and that would just cheer and churn it up a little bit of fresh stuff down don't have to put too much that's good because we're gonna need all the bags i think for that one let's do it all right guys we are done check it out the other thing about malt is it keeps moisture in if you put too much more uh too much malt down that uh, keeps out too much moisture as for just sweeping the uh, driveway getting it back from the mess I made. It says garden one, garden two. Let me get my camera out of the, there we go. So I left a couple spots for the hostas to take over. The hostas will take over such a big area. We got this garden done again. You don't need to put stuff there. I technically should be pulling this grass out. Not technically, I should be pulling this grass out. It looks good, looks good. That's my uh, fire plant, or what do they call it? Burning bush, a dwarf burning bush. So all done, the gardening. That'll like cut back huge on uh, weeds. It'll help keep the moisture in during a drought. <laughs> but you have to soak it once in a while. You gotta put some tools away. And, uh, and then it's bike ride time. One other thing I forgot to tell you guys, we have a bunny nest. My whole life, 
I thought rabbits burrowed into the ground and made their nest down there. But they don't have their babies underground. They have them on top of the ground. They find foliage like this, and then they pull out fur from their stomach and with some old uh, uh, grass and stuff, and they build an actual nest. And then they have their babies there, and they go away, and they come back with food, uh, I guess to nurse their babies. But that's, that's what it looks like. This whole area is a nest, and I'd like to pull it up for you, but I really don't want to disturb the rabbits, the bunnies, the baby rabbits that are in there. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on uh, the cats when they're out here, making sure they don't see anything. So that's a rabbit nest, and they're probably very still because I'm here. So we have to look it up because I'm like, oh, I thought there were moles because Carol was starting to garden and found the nest, and when she lifted up, she saw very, very young rabbits without their eyes even open. So when uh, she asked us what she thought they were rabbits, because she's seen a rabbit there a few times, so she was 100% correct that they were rabbits, but in my head, there's no way a rabbit would have their babies on top of the ground, because I didn't know. So we looked it up, and they have their babies on top of the ground in a nest, like a bird. But they keep burying them so they don't get seen. Kind of like a curfew. Bad. <laughs> All right, so bike time. Well, I am off on my bike ride. Got my water, water bottle of water. And I've got everything on. I'm wearing long sleeve white. Um, it might be a little bit warm wearing this. <clears throat> But I just don't want to have to put suntan or sunscreen on, uh, which is a bit of a pain. I'm not going to take this camera with me, so I'm just going to go for my ride, come back. I'm going to ride for about an hour. I took a picture, put it up on Instagram, and asked people to guess how many calories I'll burn. Didn't tell them how long I'm going for. I just wanted people to guess how many calories I'm going to burn. So we'll see. I'm going to try to ride for a straight hour. Oh, my day's wrecked. Well, I am back. I rode for quite some time. I just gotta get my other glasses on because I can't read with those on. Okay, I let Sam out, Sonny and Louie. Uh, Louie's already gone, jeez. Gotta get the, the cat prod. Instead of the cattle prod, we got the cat prod. You just have to guide him with the brim. Sunny's already gone. Oh, there's Sunny. Lou, let's go. Nope. Go on. Go on. That was a good smell, wasn't it? Come on. Oh, stop your complaining. Stop. Stop. <laughs> He's growling. He is angry. Go that way. Don't worry about the dog. Good boy. Good boy, Louie. Good girl, Sunny. You hiss at me again, you don't get to go out. That's the rule. Be mean to me. So I just had to turn my Bluetooth on, on my phone. There it goes. I had to hit save. Better save. I did definitely more than that. There we go. So I did uh, 24, almost 25 kilometers. Uh, my average speed was 25.5, which is awesome. Gotta keep my eye on the cats. Um, and I burned 751 calories. We'll have to look at all the comments, see who guessed it. Uh, I'm gonna wrangle these cats before they find maybe a little rabbit. And Sam's out enjoying himself, that's a good thing. Ninja doesn't know we're outside yet. He'll be really ticked when he finds out. 
And now it's time for happy birthday shoutouts for Wednesday, May 18th, and they are Vicky, Gary, Michael, Arian, Andrew, Elizabeth, and Gino. Happy birthday to every single one of you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your special birthday dinner, whether you ate in or you ate out. Happy birthday 